Gundam Arms Oxen Plus Reviewer Episode 1 Hey hello! Welcome to Gundam Arts channel, I hope you are doing ok, I hope that you are happy, my name is Bartosz, but for today's episode you can call me... Charles. So as I said, I hope you are happy, happy as I am, and I am thanks to this beautiful model kit. Gundam Ferrak is a mobile suit from anime The Witch from Mercury, the newest Gundam series we have been all waiting for so long, man. What do you think about the series, by the way? Leave a comment below and no spoilers policy. I will let you know later what is my opinion about it. High grade Gundam Ferrak. For me personally, this is one of the best Witch from Mercury designs to date. Very devilish, almost Evangelion like look. It brings me Xenogears vibe, even, man. Love this insectoid to death. Gundam itself is piloted by Elon Ceres, who is an enhanced person commonly known as Cyber New Type. In the proper universe? In the lore he is known as representation of Pale House. For sure this guy fits this machine of the structs well and I hope you saw the new episodes. Height in real life is around 90 meters, technology behind it is gun format and we all love its super special attack with the iconic gun bits. Mechanical designer behind this piece of machine is Wataru Inata, who was also working with design of Armored Core for Answer. And I will tell you, this is one of the best mecha game series of all time. I have loved it since the first PlayStation and can't wait for the sixth installment of the five. From our favorite seller, we will get this simple yet beautiful box. It is standard size of high grade mobile suit package with all good things inside. So let's take a look what this kit comes with. The Witch models have one of the best card boxes of all Gunpla kits for me thanks to its simple yet stylish cover. In the box we will find several runners total set of effect stickers and simple yet effective manual. Manual is clean as always with all information that you need. Bandai has covered us all. Very cool that they shown even the smallest details of the assemble. I almost broke this part trying to fit it in my, my, my world or whatever it is man. What a stupid piece of modeler I am sometimes. After you unpack your runners, you can go straight to the build. The build itself was very clean and easy. The most complicated part in terms of, let's say, assemble was the backpack. Unfortunately, it is also the little bit of the bad side of the kit, but later about it. Build took me around 4 hours without any kind of rushing. It was a pure pleasure as the rest of the witch kits. Even the sticker that I hate so much was purely okay and fun. Bandai should use only FX stickers even for a high grades. I hate traditional color correcting stickers! I also modded the head to gain some sharpness as I do with all my kits. Just be careful with the nippers or hobby knife or other cutting accessories. And about the accessories, we have simple set that comes with fair act. One open or like I call it action hand, two fist like hands to hold all his armament, two beam sabers and a sniper rifle. And of course the gun piece that you can throw at your enemy or just put on some stand and simulate the epic anime super power special attack. Of course stand sold separately. 
There is zero leftover parts on the runners after the assemble. From the first presentation of the Farak in the anime I was hooked by its presence. Characteristic sharp look with elements of the AC mecha vibe, man I'm sold. This is straight snap out of the box without panel lining or any special touch-ups. I think that we all love the clear black parts on this line of kits. Just look how good is that. This characteristic part is just epic. The stickers grow nicely under the clear parts but for sure they can be better or in the perfect world we could get some, I don't know, clear plastic? Like the other witch kids or something. We have separation in the eyes and no stickers there. You can paint it as you like, but it looks fine. Overall, the yellow pieces are very nice to the eye, really, really do the job. I can tell you that it's almost like fully anime accurate kit, which I love. White color is almost like off white for me, but I am colorblind. You can see some nub marks here and there, for me it's nothing, I, I paint most of my kits so it's okay. But even a straight build it looks very 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 good on the shelf. If you look closely there are some mold lines here and there but nothing that destroys the appearance. And about the appearance, let's see how it compares to High Grade Nightingale High Grade Zack Red Comet Origins version Master Grade Quant Full Saber P Bandai High Grade Lodas Tray Real Grade Mark II Titan with proper standing pose and my customized High Grade Elfrit. You can check the full build down below. I will like link is in the description by the way i feel so much zeta vibes in this kit but unlike the mecha gaikotsu i see more of a bliarland inspiration or coincidence than mark 5 let's say but i will admit bliarland or sentinels no matter it could be in zeta universe with no doubt and of course, with the great body comes great posability thanks to classic Bandai double joint in the neck with a nice swivel. Can go up as far as that. Can go down as far as that. Ball joint in the both shoulders. We have like butterfly joint here, which is really nice. We have full rotation here in the shoulder. Swivel in the upper arm. Bend in the elbow, ball joint in the hand with limited move range, but with a nice swivel. Unfortunately, little to none chest crunch and uh, joint for a swivel, which is nice. And we have some little bit of the pivot. Front skirt can move a little bit, but Trust me, you don't need any movement of it, as you can do all kind of leg poses thanks to this beautiful Jean-Claude Van Damme spread. He can kick in almost all of the directions. We have a joint in the knee. We have joint in the ankle and this is nice because you can move this part as well of this part of his armor. We have very nice range of movement in the ankle. It reminds me of the IBO high grades kits. We have gimmicks where you can open the hatch in his foot. The back thruster can move. I will mention that backpack with thrusters is very possible and cool, yet mine is not stable as I wish to. Top coat will do the thing, but out of the box, these places are a little loosey. Maybe it's just my copy or something, I don't know. Tell me in the comments how is yours. 
Of course, we can move his gun bits to simulate like starting the attack. It's nice. You can open the hatch with two thrusters and move it a little and this is very loosey part, I must say. We can open his forearm and hide the beam sabers there. Aerial posing is piece of cake. You can do all sort of stuff you can imagine and dream of with this model kit. And the scale, I will be honest with you, man. I am a witch. <laughs> I am a witch if it comes to 1 100 scale. I hope so that we will get master rate or at least full mechanics soon. I will love this. So to summarize, I can surely tell you that this is fantastic piece of plastic. Great presence, very good possibility and really nice and clean build make this is a good choice as your next buy. Even if you do not like the witch from Mercury, and I know you all hate it, you should buy this one and check it for yourself if you do not have any of the new high grades from the anime. You will not regret this. That's all for today my lovely viewer, you who brings the joy to my heart and the sense of existence here in this YouTube game. I hope to see you next time, so subscribe, hit the like button and say hello in the comment section below. You help me a lot thanks to this golden click. It is a pure pleasure to meet ya. Ciao.